Now, this is an ABC Action News Update. Good evening to you. I'm Jasmine Stiles. Meteorologist Jason Adams will have your forecast in a bit, but first, here's your ABC Action News Update. Ahead of Halloween, Hillsborough County deputies are making sure your children stay safe while trick-or-treating. They're reminding sexual predators and offenders they cannot participate in Halloween. On Friday, we caught up with deputies going door-to-door -to, -door to do compliance checks. This has been happening all month. For Halloween, offenders on probation can't hand out candy or turn on their porch light. If they break those rules, it's an automatic violation and deputies can arrest them. Those that are on probation can't decorate their house. They can't get dressed in costume. Last year, the sheriff's office says deputies conducted 831 neighborhood checks. They arrested 14 people. The sheriff's office says parents can check out the FDLE sexual offender and predator database. All you have to do is enter your address and the database shows you where registered sexual offenders and predators live. Just in time for the holiday travel season, Tampa International Airport is about to debut a system that'll get you to the gate faster. It's called Blue Express Curbsides. It's dedicated to passengers without checked baggage. Here's how it works. When you arrive at the airport, just follow the blue signs for Express Curbside. The idea is to get you through the airport quicker by skipping the ticketing lines. The eight lanes are expected to open in the middle of November, just in time for Thanksgiving travel. Now let's check in with Jason Adams. And it's finally feeling like fall out there today. Highs only into the mid to upper 70s for the warmest spots. First time we've been below 80 degrees in 193 consecutive days. That, of course, is a record stretch of 80 plus degree temperatures. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to be nice and comfortable back into the 50s and 60s again. Tomorrow afternoon looks just fine. Lots of sunshine. Your trick or treating forecast will have no issues weather wise. Mid to upper 70s, so about three to four degrees warmer than what we were today. And we will see more sunshine by the afternoon. Starting out with some clouds, but the afternoon and evening looks just fine with clear sky. So no worries as far as rain goes for those of you that are going to be out trick or treating. Here's a look at those temperatures though. Low to mid 70s north of I-4, mid to upper 70s to the south. Humidity is gone. There will be an isolated shower risk through about 6 to 7 a.m. But then after that, like I mentioned, just like the clouds, we're going to see all that fading away, yielding sunshine. And then even cooler Monday morning with 50s and 60s widespread once again. Jasmine. Thanks, Jason. That wraps up your ABC Action News update. Remember, we're always on online at abcactionnews.com.